welcome to god's word fellowship i'm gerald santiago and we are studying about jehovah chaira let's pray father we come to you in the name of our lord jesus father we thank you so much for your wonderful marvelous love father we thank you for your great love father we thank you for your holy written word father your words are truth father heaven and earth will pass away but your words will not pass away father you are the same yesterday today and forever father you do not change father we lean on you father we trust in you father you are our shepherd father you are el shaddai the maker of heaven and earth and father you are our shepherd we will not lack hallelujah to jesus glory be to god blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus we will increase we will grow we will multiply in the name of jesus 2021 is a year of expansion multiplication and progress for us in the name of jesus we will not diminish in the name of jesus we will have more than enough super abundance too much and excess father we thank you so much for your mighty help for us father we thank you for your blessing upon us and father we thank you for your favor upon us father you are good and your mercy endures forever father your love endures forever father your faithfulness endures forever father we pray you teach us your word father we pray you grant us wisdom knowledge understanding and revelation in your word your will and your love father we pray you grant us ideas concepts and insights father we thank you for word in due season father we thank you for answers and solutions father we thank you so much for your mighty hand father we pray you stretch out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders be done by the name of thy holy child jesus father we thank you so much for your marvelous help and father we pray for your mighty protection upon the election and the and the vote counting and the results of the elections that has happened in our states father we plead the blood of our lord jesus over the entire process father we pray you watch over it father we pray that everything be done in a honest and just manner father we pray that you stop and uh, prevent any form of um, cheating fraud and deception father we thank you so much for leaders according to your heart and your will father by the authority of your word in the name of jesus we bind every work of the devil concerning these elections in the name of jesus let every scheme every plan every device every weapon of the devil concerning these elections be broken and destroyed father we pray for your great mercy upon india and our state our city and our local areas father we pray you stretch out your hand and bring about a marvelous deliverance from the corona virus and its impact and father you are our maker our creator father you are our strength father you are our shield father we lean on you we trust in you father we thank you so much for your marvelous protection father we thank you for your marvelous deliverance father you are good to all and your tender mercies are over all your creations father we thank you you are full of compassion Father we pray for your compassion upon people Father we pray for your tender mercies upon people Father we pray for your healing mercies upon people Father we thank you for your marvelous deliverance from the corona virus and its impact and father by the authority of your word in the name of Jesus corona virus die and be destroyed in the name of jesus we bind every work of the devil behind the corona virus in the name of jesus let every scheme every plan every device every weapon behind the corona virus be broken and destroyed Hallelujah to Jesus thank you father thank you for your marvelous help for us father you are good you are great and you are greatly to be praised father because you are alive and we will live father because you are there father you are always there you are the king of eternity father you are the great i am father you you were father you are and you will be in our future and father we thank you for it we praise you for it we never have to worry we never have to fear because the great i am is always with us father we praise you we worship you and we adore you hallelujah to jesus glory be to god blessed be your holy name father in the name of our lord jesus we pray amen hallelujah i know we took some time to pray today and these times uh, require prayer right so so don't uh, no, don't think oh why are we taking so much time to pray it's essential 
it is needful do you understand that yeah all right <laughs> let's go to genesis chapter 22 let's read from verse 10 and abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son and the angel of the lord called unto him out of heaven and said abraham abraham and he said here i am and he said lay not your hand upon the lad neither do thou anything unto him for now i know that thou fearest god seeing thou hast not withheld your son your only son from me and abram lifted up his eyes and looked and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns and abram went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son hallelujah to jesus glory be to god blessed be his holy name hallelujah to jesus i have to you know tell you something <laughs> last week we were recording the video messages for the upcoming month and uh, so um we were um, as we were doing that the holy ghost quickened certain passages in my heart psalm 23 psalm 95 and he gave it as as a word for this season right and i i didn't know that we are going to have you know that the problems that we were facing are going to be amplified and um, <laughs> I, I did not know that so but you know the holy ghost quickened the word and he gave it and um the, the shepherd as thought has been going on inside me for quite some time and um yesterday not yesterday yeah um it's in a day before yesterday uh that would be on sunday right and i preach a little early so <laughs> that's why <laughs> this sunday right as i was uh, ministering in our church in our local church and um uh <laughs> the holy ghost i actually you know our senior pastor had prepared a you know has declared this month to be a month of the holy spirit so and uh, so me that's the topic we were teaching on and uh, he's t- he has been teaching on and um uh i i i was prepared so i also had prepared along that line and i was going to deliver that message and um but before that as i was you know as i was praying for the message when i was at home this this thought this message about the shepherd kept coming up kept coming up kept coming up and uh, so i went there and i was praying and the the shepherd um, message kept coming up and i thought okay fine i'll just tell them this is the word in due season and uh, i'll go to john 16 and start teaching on that you know about the holy spirit <laughs> but then um no the whole thing the, the entire message went on to be about the shepherd and um you know i i want to convey that message to you you know and if you have been uh, following our facebook page or you know if you were receiving uh, our material through whatsapp uh, you would have received uh, as a tiny little you know message about um, what the holy spirit had said the you know about psalm 23 and psalm 95 and even psalm 91 for that matter right and uh, you might also have received a picture message el shaddai is my shepherd i will not lack and i sent that because of that quickening from the holy spirit and i want to uh, you know encourage all of you who are listening to go and read psalm 23 psalm 95 right take that as a word for this season the holy ghost is giving that to you as a word for this season take hold of it right read it you know maybe three times a day right how much ever you need you know maybe more <laughs> right if, if you need to uh, strengthen your heart if you, if you want to keep going over it over and over again go go through it over and over again and uh, psalm 23 psalm 95 i right? keep reading that over and over and over again go through it right slowly meditate on it think about it pray over it believe god for god to lead you and guide you as a shepherd and to meet your needs as a shepherd right and god will do marvelous things for you glorious things for you actually right uh, don't be moved by what you see on the outside don't be moved by what the circumstances and um, you know you sometimes <laughs> you know if you know how the ta- 
Christians sometimes respond like the stock market, you know. Right? <laughs> if if situations are good, stock market will boom up, you know. And uh, then the stock index will go up and people will be happy and uh, you know they will have hope. But then when some troubling situations develop in a country, uh, immediately the stock market plunges, you know, depending on how how bad the problem is. And uh, you know, even today I was watching the news, and they, they were talking about how the stock market took a turn, downward turn, right? And um, we Christians should not be like that. See, we serve an eternal God. We serve God Almighty, and our God Almighty, our El Shaddai, is able to help us in any time. When, right uh, no matter how situations are looking on the outside the holy ghost the el shaddai is able to help us the el shaddai is able to bless us and increase us and to move us forward even in troubling situation in fact this entire year this has been the theme that has been running in my heart and this is this this particular uh, message has been coming out of me more and more and more and more right stop looking at the circumstances and how things are going on on the outside uh, to determine whether you are going to prosper or not and in other words walk by faith and not by sight Right? Set your eyes on God. Set your eyes on El Shaddai. Set your eyes on what God has promised you in His Word. Take hold of His promises. Look to the Great Shepherd. Look to the Good Shepherd. Our Lord Jesus is our Good Shepherd. Right? And He knows how to take care of you even during a time of a man. The God of Elijah is alive and well to them. The God of Isaac is alive and well today. You know how God blessed and increased Isaac during a time of a man when everybody else was decreasing. God increased Isaac. Right? When people were suffering greatly uh, during the time of Elijah, right? Elijah was given bread and meat morning and evening, right? twice a day, non-witch. Right? Think about that. People were suffering for food all over the place. This man is eating like a king during the time of a man. See, that's what God can do. That's El Shaddai. See, he is not bound to the natural circumstances. He is not bound by famine or pestilence or government orders or government policies. God is above and beyond all that. In fact, his word can override natural circumstances. You remember when Peter was um, uh, wanting to step out of the boat, he saw Jesus walking on the water and he said, Lord Jesus, if it is you, let me also walk in the water. Right? <laughs> and Jesus said one word. Say that with me. One word. One, one single word. All Jesus said was come. Right? Peter walked on the water on the authority of that word come do you understand that see jesus didn't give him a one hour message right now i like preaching for a long time i like preaching for one hour i like preaching for more than that actually speaking right and i, I actually i prefer to take the time and preach for a long period of time Right? I, I'm not a fan of small messages. Right? I, I, I like to take time and preach for a long time. Right? I like to give solid word of God to people. But you know, <laughs> Jesus here just gave one word, man. One word. He just said, come. <laughs> right? Come. That's it. <laughs> one single word. And um, Peter, on the authority of that word, stepped out. You know, the word that Jesus spoke suspended the natural laws it, it took care of the natural laws right naturally speaking whether there is a storm or not whether there is a boisterous wind or not right whether the waves are roaring or not you step out on water you are going down you are going to sink right that's the natural law now, i don't want to get into the physics of it but you know that just let's just keep it simple right you're going to sink but um, even if it is peaceful, even if the water is still, right? You step out on water, you're going to sink. But the word that Jesus spoke 
suspended that natural law right and it upheld peter jesus peter was doing something supernatural based on the word that jesus spoke right all around him there was storm the waters were raging the wind was boisterous but peter walked on the water i see jesus was walking on the same water right all around him there was storm there was wind the waves were roaring the waves were you know <laughs> it was dark it was night and the water is raging the wind is boisterous and that's not a good circumstance to be walking you know even walking or uh, uh, taking a walk on the beach forget walking on the water itself right that's that's not the kind of weather you want to be walking around in the beach right <laughs> walking on the water in the midst of that problem right that, that that's totally at another level right it's at the supernatural level you know god's word can help you do that even though things are not looking good on the outside eh right? if you will take hold of what god is saying to you you can override the natural circumstances right take hold of psalm 23 take hold of psalm 95 right this is a word for you from the holy ghost for this season set your eyes on god almighty the great shepherd the good shepherd and not on your circumstances read these verses over and over again sing them and if you know some good songs based on god being our shepherd sing them right and i i found there is a great song by father berkmans you know on jesus being our shepherd so I, i i today me and my wife we were singing to that together in our family prayer right <laughs> and do that <laughs> you know find good songs on jesus being our shepherd and sing that right hold fast to this fact that jesus is our shepherd see the government is not your shepherd the economy is not your shepherd the stock market is not your shepherd right the the the, the look the circumstances in your area is not your shepherd jesus is our shepherd right hold fast to the truth and feed on it over and over again right repeatedly again and again right and keep praising god over it worship god over it thank god for it and god will do awesome things for you god will surely take care of you did you get that did you understand that yeah hallelujah to jesus hallelujah to jesus and yesterday i saw something that i hadn't quite seen it this way and i want to bring it out to you and i have taught on joseph many times right like any other preacher would you know he's such a great inspiration for all of us and right and so but yesterday the holy ghost showed me something that i hadn't quite seen it like this you know his joseph was deserted by everybody everyone everyone deserted joseph right his brothers did something that he should not they should not have done right you shouldn't even do it to your enemy forget your own flesh and blood and um his father thought he was dead so father is not going to come looking for him he is a foreign slave in some unknown <laughs> in, in in a strange country he is a slave in a foreign country that's that's the bottom of the society you want to know what's the bottom of a society a foreign slave that would be the bottom of the society right you being a slave in a strange land bad situation right and uh, so even in the midst of that god was joseph's shepherd god guided him you know in the midst of such a serious problem god arranged it so that the ishmaelites came right at that moment in the path where joseph's brothers were camping right you know actually these guys were in a different place right the hand of god was over that whole situation even though even in the midst of such a evil situation the hand of god was always there right god moved them to dothan and right in the path of the ishmaelites right and instead of killing joseph they sold him to the ishmaelites and they brought him to egypt they could have taken him taken him to some other country 
but they brought him to egypt you know god had egypt and they see god was guiding joseph to his destiny even in the midst of such a huge problem right and he could have been sold to anybody no but he was sold to a uh, potiphar who was in uh, the king's employment right mm. even when uh, when this woman uh, potiphar's wife accu- falsely accused joseph of you uh, know committing adultery of raping her basically trying to rape and um, <coughs> even when he was thrown into prison god arranged it in such a way that he ended up in the vip prison now a slave has no place in the vip prison idea you know in under normal circumstances a person who is accused of such a crime would be killed especially you are a slave and that to a foreign slave you're done right they would have chopped you but you know even in the midst of that god was guiding joseph right these things i knew <laughs> and then the holy ghost showed me see that that's like the valley of the shadow of death right <laughs> basically you want to call, you know uh, look for an example of an experience that resembles the valley of the shadow of death that would be it right even in the midst of that joseph was not afraid joseph was not even sorrowful nah <laughs> why because the good shepherd was with him even in a dungeon in a foreign country eh see that's what david is talking about when he is saying though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death hmm i will fear no evil why for thou art with me your rod and your staff they comfort me in the midst of that dungeon in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death joseph was like hey god is with me i have a blood covenant with the almighty god god will take care of me right here hmm you know god exalted him he became uh, the the, <laughs> the leading voice in the prison he t- he ran the prison he managed the prison hmm and god trained him for his next job as prime minister inside the prison hmm do, do you do you see this don't fear don't give in to fear right uh, avoid too much of uh, uh, news consumption right i know you want to be informed but uh, <laughs> don't spend all your time hearing that bad negative report don't don't spend all your time filling up your heart with the evil report and fear eh instead feed on god's word fill up your heart with god's promises hear good faith building messages right build your faith don't build fear build faith right eh? and god will help you god will help you overcome this situation most definitely right <laughs> and if you if you if you have any doubt right just remember last year right in the midst of all that at least now we know what it is we have a vaccine and we have all the other support we know what works what doesn't work to an extent last time we knew nothing and in the midst of that god helped us god took care of us god provided for us didn't he god is faithful god will help you you will not just survive this problem you will actually increase you will thrive you will move forward say this with me out loud in the name of jesus 2021 is a year of expansion multiplication and progress for me in the name of jesus i will not diminish do you did you get that hold fast to that say that often god will help you god will put you over god will give you the victory and you will live a blessed life right do you understand this hmm hallelujah to jesus christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law we don't have to partake of the curse 
and you know pestilences are under the curse you go and read the old testament you will see the pestilences come under the curse right we we don't have to be a partaker of the curse we are partakers of the blessing of abraham not the curse of the law right so say this also often christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law in the name of jesus the curse shall not enter my life i am blessed by god almighty i am blessed by the maker of heaven and earth in the name of jesus i will expand i will multiply i will move forward right say these things this this, this the, these are truths from the bible right i am not giving you some feel good uh, phrases right there's a difference between feel good phrases and the holy word of god you know god's word is upholding the entire universe right that that that's the power of the awesome word of god and that's what we are speaking right in the name of jesus by faith and when we do that god will change our circumstances god will move powerfully in our life god will do wonders for us god will do marvelous things for us did you get that today yeah thank you so much for listening please make a note of our whatsapp number it's 9944428332 and also make a note of our email address it's prayer at gwf india dot in right you can message us your prayer request to the whatsapp number or email it to us we will believe god along with you god will do awesome things for you and please do send us your testimonies of how god is working in your life through this ministry we love to hear that we would praise god along with you and um those of you who want to send offerings to this ministry become a partner in this ministry visit our website gwfindia.in and click on the donate page and you will have, you know you will find you will have different options through which you can send in your offering uh, choose whatever is comfortable for you right thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon